Hello everybody and welcome back to Honey Bunny Games, my name is Twisted and today we are going to be playing Valhalla Hill. So, what is Valhalla Hills? It is kind of like a progressive city builder that is not really... It's more of a village builder that has some uh, maybe dwarf fortressy elements, a little bit, not a lot, but that has some of them. Let's actually get started immediately, it's gonna be a lot clearer once I get into the game. Let's create a new profile because I already played like two hours, I can actually see this, yeah, I played two hours of the game. It's really fun, I really like it quite a lot, and it's gonna be really fun. This is my profile, okay, let's go on to a new map. Hopefully this will actually work the way I want it to work, I don't want these settings... Actually, yeah, it does work the way I want it to work because it it's uh, very small to begin with, so these are like the, the maxims. Okay, good. Good, 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 great. We're gonna start the game as a normal game. We cannot change these. You can change these later on, but if you're starting from the beginning, it eases you in in like a tutorial like manner. So here is our little island. Soon enough, our dwarves. Yep, our dwarves. Our Vikings actually fall from the sky. Welcome, Liko, God of Building. So we play as the God of Building. We need to prove to our father, Odin, that we are worthy of returning to Valhalla by mastering randomly generated missions to uh, suited to our progress. So the way this game works is everything you do, you can see it, where is that, unlocks, yeah, I can see, um, next, okay, these are our next unlocks, these are things you can unlock by completing these tasks and progressing through the game mode, you can, uh, once you complete the first mission, I think you can play whatever you want, but for now it's gonna be really, really simple, it's gonna be our, just our first tour level, we're gonna probably be two or three missions on our first video, later on, uh, every mission will take a few videos, most likely, so we have Five dwarves, right now we can order more of them if you click onto our starting portal. Yes, that's it. Uh, we can order more Vikings, they will form pull from the sky. Yes, yeah, here here they go. The capacity right now is 10 because we don't have that many houses, but we can build more. Yeah, no more Vikings can be ordered because we need more houses. These are the notifications, we can cycle the, the priority of them, but we're gonna show them all for now. So what do we do here? What do we do? We need to open the portal. Viking needs to come close in order to unlock it. So, uh... That sounds easy enough. There is no military buildings right now. There is there's some logistic buildings and there are some production buildings. So we can build. Let's build like a woodcutter. That's probably a, a very important building. Oh, that is a very important building. I know that it is. So you can place these buildings and depending on the color of the tile beneath it. So for example, you cannot place it here because it's not suitable terrain. But you can place it on these green tiles. And what there's three types. There's green. There is uh, orange and there's red. So green means that we don't need to build any foundation, we just build a building. The orange ones means you need to build a little bit of foundation, so it costs a little bit more, and red ones mean you need to build very sturdy foundations, which means it costs even more than that. We're gonna build a woodcutter, we're also gonna build a toolmaker, yeah, that's what we need to do. You can pa pause and read those pop-ups, I did read them already, I know what the buildings do. And they automatically get assigned their, um, automatically get their work tasks assigned. Yeah, portals, I know. They discard the portal. I can open it, and there's no enemies in it. So if we do that, we'll actually just leave. Let's actually let these guys build. We can deactivate buildings. We can demolish them. We can do stuff around. So this guy, he automatically got a job here. He's now the woodcutter, Aki. You can select him. I'm gonna walk around. He doesn't have an axe, so he can't actually do anything. But once we build a toolmaker, we can actually make tools like axes or spears or hammers or fishing rods and whatnot that will supply food and whatnot, other things. And it's gonna apply everything that we need. So we can actually just open the portal easily. There's no enemies here. We don't need to defeat the enemies. We can just move on to the next level immediately. And that's gonna be that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna enter the portal. We're gonna start the next mission. This was really simple. We unlocked a few things. Ice seconds, uh, more more uh, map size, fishing lodge, rabbits, rat of the gods, one. Military camps, altars, and uh, other things. Okay, let's uh, move on. So this level will actually take us a little bit. If we click here, uh, there are some enemies here. I know that it doesn't tell you, but I know that there are enemies on this level. So there's two ways to beat those enemies. You can either kill them with uh, your military, or you can offer them sacrifices, offer them different resources. So, for example, these guys may require 10 fish to appease them, and then they will let us through. Or we can just kill them, which is probably maybe the simpler option. I don't know. So, here we are at our starting portal. Basic needs? Yeah, I know. Yes, I, they have basic needs, you can actually read this over here. So we need to eat, they need to eat, of course. There, there's fruit, they will eat fruit if they are hungry. But fruit is not forever, also rabbits are not forever. Also fish is not forever. But, 
you can build farms later on which is something we're gonna want to do. So first of all, I want to build a woodcutter. I want to build in a location where there's a lot of wood nearby. For example, this seems like an okay, but I want to actually build it here. Ah, let's build it, like... Let's build it here. That seems fine. By the way, the music is absolutely amazing. I love the music here. It's really good. It's really quite awesome. Let's build this over here. Uh, we need a fishing lodge. Yeah, I know. So let's build a fishing lodge. This seems like an okay location right next to the beach. Gonna make him really happy. They will do their own thing. You can speed the game up if you want to, so they will be a bit faster. Let's actually keep on speed one for now. Military camps. We can build camps or altars. I actually never use an altar. We need stone fragments. We have those. Yeah, we have a bunch of them on the ground here. Let's um, let's build an altar over here. Does it need to be close to the portal? I don't know, honestly. Maybe? Let's actually build it far away first, just to, so we can find out if we need that. You can move the military camp uh, when you want to, easily. By the way, new dwarves will be ordered automatically once you need them. And you're missing a resource to actually be able to fish, so of course need to make a tool at the tool maker. We're gonna have a lot of stuff to do. Alright, unfortunately we don't have access to roads right now, so that will hamper our progress a little bit. There's a the tool maker. Finish, let's make a fishing rod, because they will get hungry. And let's make like a few simple axes. Let's make five axes. We're gonna need those. It's gonna take a while, but it's alright. Okay, altar. You can demolish it. Alright. Building cost. So, I wanna see if. Okay, it's actually finished. No, it's available. Viking needs to get close to the portal. Alright, so if we now get to it close to the portal. Oh god, they zoom out way too much. Sometimes the camera like zooms out really quickly. It happens occasionally. It's kind of annoying. I don't know what causes it. It's probably just a bug. I need to get someone closer to the portal somehow. We cannot control them on our own, by the way. So keep that in mind. So we can build like a military camp here if we want to. They will come close to the portal. Or we can just wait for them to do it automatically. Because they will do that once they try to like chop some trees nearby or something. Alright. There's a lot of notifications, let's actually remove all of these, these are finished. We are missing fishing rod, missing simple axes, that's gonna get fixed relatively soon, we have our fishing rod finished, so that can, that's gonna just disappear. Soon enough. Still missing some axes, they will get made relatively quickly, so that's fine. Alright. It's not open yet, but they are... They, by the way, they do sleep under trees. Uh, if they're tired. But I can build them like a tent here. Yeah, dwelling. Build them a home here. Let's build it over here close to the portal so that it will hopefully open it. Okay, more dwarves, more uh, vikings falling from the sky. Two of them are unemployed. We can order more of them manually, but oh well. That's what I matter. By the way, these are our limits over here. So we can have a total of 30 on the map, but right now we have only enough homes to support 10 of them. Simple as that. And see, you have zero warriors, we have two people who are unemployed doing that, and they have the grey names. So Tristan is unemployed, and we have another person somewhere that's unemployed. By the way, you can change their names, and I will change their names relatively soon. I actually just finished this mission, and I will change their names at the end of the episode. He's still building this babe, bad boy. Unlock the sawmill, awesome, that's gonna be really good, really useful for us. There we go, we have the sawmill, still haven't opened the portal. Unlock the sawmill, the small storage, the dwellings, camps, I know all about those things. Unlock the path, I cannot build it yet, but I can... Could use it in my single player games now. Which is awesome. My when I say single player I mean non-campaign playthroughs. Which is kind of is the campaign. Um let's build another tent over here. I, don't want, I wanna try the offering. I've never done the offering. I always kill the enemies. It was really easy. But maybe the offerings are make a little bit more sense, I don't know, we'll see. Portal has become an open now, so what do we require to sacrifice? Five fish. How do we do this? Alright, start offering. Oh, so I get it, so you can actually remove the ice guard. Yeah, there, there is an there is one ice guard. 
and to appease him, we can offer him fish. I bet if there's like multiple enemies, we can have to appease every one of them. And you can actually combine these to make it easier for your army to kill him, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, start offering to this guy. Yeah, okay, I, I see. You need five fish. That could take a while, so let's actually open this menu over here and let's get some more fishing lodges. We will need a few more fishing rods. Man, you're taking your sweet time, eh? Alright, let's get two carriers. So we gotta employ two carriers here, and they will carry the resources to our toolmaker. And our toolmaker will just keep making things non-stop for our carriers actually do the job of bringing the stuff over there. Uh, we seem to have enough of everything else. We could build another woodcutter, maybe? We have a lot of logs, so might as well, like, invest in more of those things. Yeah, let's get one more here. So let me think a bunch of stuff. All right. One out of five fish. Coming along quite nicely. Okay, we built the tent. You can build better buildings, by the way. The tents are just the basic ones that give you space for two people. Two, two people can live in them. The dwellings have a capacity of four, and the lodges have. I don't know because I haven't actually built them yet. All right, so we'll get more sticks from this. It's gonna be great. Okay, more fishing lodges. We are still missing fishing rods. Build like these bad boys here to help us out. We still have a few people. We still have some, some capacity, so that's fine. Oh, we have. Okay, we have five out of five fish, so we can perform the offering now. Offerings being performed. All right, what? Who's that? Grello is the master of offerings. We should be doing something now. Okay, no enemies there. So we actually did the offering, and now there's no more enemies on the portal. Which means we can now open the portal safely and just end level. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, portal opened. Okay. Yeah, no one's coming out because we appeased all the enemies. That is awesome. We can enter the portal. Go to the next mission, but we actually will not go to the next mission. We'll actually load into it. We'll go save and exit. I'm going to go to the Vikings menu. So this is something really cool. You can rename your Vikings. Um, there's a bunch of them. I haven't actually gotten any of them. So we had Grilled, who was our, like, offering lady. Let's rename them. Um, oh, I don't have the ability to do that yet. Okay, actually, I can. Edit, yeah. Click here. Yes, let's name this guy Twisted. Let's name... Actually... I want to be this guy. Yeah, I want to be, be this guy Twisted. And you are going to be renamed to Wicked. Yeah, alright. That's awesome, that's cool, that's really cool. So if you guys want to be in the game, uh, feel free to let me know. Give me your name that you want to want me to put into the, like, tribe. And I will do that in, like, episode 3 or 4. I will change all the names. It's going to be on probably on Friday or, th or Thursday, I haven't decided. Yet. Probably Friday. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm going to... Edit the names. Just give me the names in the comments. I will try to change them ASAP. It's gonna be awesome. Gonna be part of my tribe. It's gonna be really cool. This guy looks badass. Oh my god. Look at him. You see his military outfit. By the way, you can unlock other helmets by doing achievements. So you can outfit them the way you want. Yeah, I'm gonna actually end this video here. If you guys enjoyed this first episode of Valhalla Hills, please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. It helps out a great, great deal, especially since this is the first video of a new series. That also makes me really happy, and I like being happy. So please feel free, leave a like, leave a comment. It's a great, great deal, more than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hunter Games, and I will see you next time.